there. So Abby, uh, Senator Akshar does a program called uh, Akshar's All-Stars where school districts are given the chance to choose one, one very special student from our school district who really shows amazing qualities and characteristics and, and a student who we would pick out as being a role model for other students in our district. And you have been chosen as that student this year. So out of 500 possibilities, we chose you and we chose you for very good reasons. So, um, and I know Mr. Pedersen wrote his own recommendation, but I know Abby well, and I can speak to the reasons Mr. Pedersen chose her. Because not only is she smart and talented um, in every way, shape and form, she certainly is involved in many things um, with athletics and, and she is a sharp cookie and will go places for sure. Um, she is also civic minded. And I, I know uh, Senator Akshar is going to love this. She's civic minded and even at a very young age, she is involved in, in giving to her community and giving back to her community. And so as a Rotarian myself in deposit, I can speak to the fact that Abby is involved in rotary projects um, with her parents and is there to lend a helping hand anytime something's going on. And a perfect example would be the Lumberjack Fest. So, so she's, she's already actively involved in her community and um, and I can't think of a better person to get this award and Abby this is a really big award uh, to be presented from a senator for being such an amazing human being and that's what it's really all about so that so that is what I would say about Abby I have had the pleasure to know her now for a, quite a long time and um, I don't know Fred if you would like a couple of Abby's uh, teachers or teachers who know Abby are on the call so I'm not sure if you'd like them to say something yeah, that'd be great if, if they if they so choose. Okay. Eric and Taylor, if you'd like to say anything about Abby, now's your chance. Sure. Um, I've known Abby for two years. Um, and through the two years that I've known her, I've seen so much growth. Um, she's such a dedicated student, um, hardworking and does anything she can to be on Zoom, even when she doesn't need to be. Um, and I'm so proud of her. This is such an honor, Abby. I think everybody stole all the good stuff to say about you, Abby. <laughs> you're a model student, you're a hard worker, you're just a great all around kid. And congratulations. So Abby, uh, congratulations, number one. Mom, congratulations to you as well. You've uh, clearly raised a very bright um, and talented young lady. Abby, we started this program a few years ago uh, and, and Mrs. Cook knows this because we've We've um, joined forces, if you will, over the last few years, uh, really to, to shine a bright light on all the good things that young people were doing throughout our community. And I've come to, to meet so many uh, talented young people through this program. And some people are very gifted uh, athletically. Uh, they're very gifted uh, in the arts or uh, uh, academically, uh, or uh, they have some uh, involvement in community service, and that's why the school uh, puts them, them forward. But I think you're unique because uh, you seem to fit all of those. Uh, you fit into all of those roles, uh, and clearly you are, are are advancing through those. And I'm just going to look at my paper because I, I want you to know what uh, the folks in the school district said about you, and, and I don't want to miss anything. So um, you're very kind. You're you're a thoughtful student and classmate. You're responsible. You're an enthusiastic learner. You're always happy to come to school. I think we heard about that a little bit. Uh, and you are impressive because you've been able to manage this, this idea of uh, being successful socially, athletically, academically, altruistically. And I think that's what probably sets you apart uh, from um, you know, some of your peers is that, uh, again, you, you're, you're balancing all of those things, not only balancing all of those things, but you are, uh, are succeeding in all of those things um, as well. So I must say, I heard about the Lumberjack Festival. You just have to tell me, have you, have you, have you witnessed me lose uh, the axe throwing contest for the last, well, not last year, but the previous two years? Have you witnessed that? No. Okay, good. Uh, because what, are we going to have the Lumberjack Festival this year? Like in person, are we going to, are we trying to do that? Are we, our fingers are crossed on that issue? Abby's dad would be a better person to speak on that. But what I'm hearing is at least something similar to last year, but they're hoping, I believe, for some in-person contest. 
Good. I'm really hoping that because this is the year that I be, beat Luke Tucker in the actual. Uh, <laughs> those, those are fighting words. <laughs> uh, competition. So. Well, we would love uh, to see you at that. Yeah, of course. Uh, Abby, just uh, really want to you know, just spend a few moments with you today and congratulate you and, and just recognize all of your good work and, um, you know, just say thank you. Um, Mrs. Cook talked about your community service. And I think above all else, uh, of course, I am uh, proud uh, of you for all of your accomplishments. But in the world in which we live today, and I say this, and I'm not bashful about saying this, you know, my district is, is very diverse. Um, you know, it's very rural in some parts. And I grew up in Afton, not too far from you. And, you know, there's something to be said about small communities and uh, how we recognize the importance of, of just taking care of one another and taking care of our neighbor uh, and doing all, all that we can for the communities in which we live. And while I am deeply proud of you for all of your accomplishments, uh, I do just want to acknowledge your work uh, within the community and, and thank you for, for trying to make the community in which you live uh, a, a better place because you know that's really at the end of the day what it's all about. So. Right now in your life, you may be in deposit and you're, you're trying to make it just the best you possibly can. But, you know, you may move away from mom and dad at some point. They probably don't want you to, uh, but you may. And you may find yourself in a different community. And the skills that you learned here right now, uh, I know that you'll take with you and just make the world a better place, which, uh, you know, there are a lot of adults um, in this community uh, throughout this state, and throughout this nation that could take some pointers from you. Um, and, you know, could make their respective communities a better place. So just want to congratulate you today. We're going to mail some stuff to the school for you and just small token of our uh, appreciation uh, and, and acknowledgement of, of this achievement. Any, uh, I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you, do you want to share anything? Yeah. No. Okay. No, yeah. no problem at all. And I believe, um, Abby, that Mr. Pedersen had some, some surprises for you as well, just some congratulatory surprises on behalf of the school. And, um, and so I'm not sure if, if mom and dad had those available, but uh, it looks like dad might be handing her something. So we just, we just put together a little something just to reinforce our uh, deposit lumberjack spirit for such a great kid. Yeah, it Abby. looks like she's got something. I saw a picture of that little prize package. It looked pretty cool. <laughs> yes, she's, she is very deserving and we're, we're proud to have her as a deposit CSD student and community member for sure. So Mom, I would say this while she's looking through her bag of, uh, of, of goodies, if there's anything that I or, or my staff can do uh, for, for Abby as she moves forward, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call and we're, we're happy to do whatever we can. Um, you know, to help her on the journey. Thank you very much. And congratulations to everybody. Abby, I'll leave you to your, uh, to your, to your gift bag there. Uh, again, congratulations on behalf of all of us. And Mrs. Cook, good to see you. And uh, I look forward Senator. to seeing everybody in person. Thank you so much, Senator Akshar. Congratulations, Abby. Thank you. Congratulations. Have a wonderful weekend. You too, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.